At this conference, you're talking um, about people needing to look at the broader impact of aviation, not, not just the environment. What do you mean by that? Well, we're trying to enlarge the debate a little bit and get people to look at uh, the bigger picture, if you like, and really understand the socioeconomic benefits uh, that aviation brings to society. Just like it was the horse and cart back in the medieval days, it really is the air transport uh, industry that is driving the economic and social development uh, of the planet today as we see it in terms of job creation, uh, in terms of the, uh, the spillover that has uh, in communities and in economies all over the planet. All right, well, how much of a priority is the environment at a manufacturer like Airbus? It's an extremely high priority. It always has been. In fact, uh, efficiency has always been uh, at the heart of what we do. We've always looked to improve the efficiency of our aircraft, and that obviously has a direct uh, impact on the environment as well. And do you look at other things as well, apart from just simply the way your planes operate? I mean, do you look at um, how you make them, what, what inputs go into that, and then what happens to all that at the end of their working lives? Sure. Airbus actually was the first uh, company in the industry to have a full life cycle approach for environment, which means that we look at the environmental impact at every stage of the aircraft, right from design to manufacturing to operations, and eventually to dismantling. All right, Andrea, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you.